very much uh, for sharing your questions. I mean, these are really good questions and very common for most of the students. Actually, most, and that, yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's that's where I wanted to actually record this session, and it would be really beneficial to all the students. I mean, uh, I pretty much I received similar question from all all of the students actually, and mm. you are bang on yes, actually sir. that all the questions was really relevant to actually the other other guys as well. So I thought, yeah, it would be really nice actually we can share this this session with others as well so that can benefit yes, for sure. uh, i will share your uh actually questionnaire let me share my screen so we can go through each individual question and then uh, we can discuss them and uh, see if you got any further questions so we can we can go through each individual yes sir. so i need to make sure i cover all your question and um, that that's where i generally ask yourselves basically yeah just give me your questionnaire that give me a chance to do a bit of a research beforehand uh, so if you can see my screen now can you see that yeah yes sir Right. So what I've done, actually, so your questions is here and I've just added a bit of a brief, basically. Um, I, I will share actually this this uh, file with yourself, basically, so you can go through what, what, I, what I'm talking about. So that will give you a bit more insight, actually, about your question and what, what I'm talking about. So your first question was, uh, which is the best MSc Instruction Engineering or MSc in Construction Project Management? It's very, yeah, very sure. common and open question, actually. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I can't give you straightforward, like, I mean, yeah, structure is better than the construction management. It all depends on the candidate itself, basically. If I'm honest, yeah. obviously, personally, I'm structure engineer. So my answer would be biased towards structure because I love structure engineering. And uh, that's yeah. what I generally, I generally say to the student. You need to look at yourself. You are the best judge of yourself. You need to see whether, yeah, yeah. whether you are interested to do that structure engineering or you are more towards management. I mean, that's, that's where I see that generally I answer this, this question in that way. So you need to see your skills, actually, wh whether you are more towards like a leadership, communication, and that kind of skills. I mean, you have the management skills. Uh, then yeah. definitely, yeah, you should uh, pursue your management sort of course, yeah, construction management. But if you are really keen into the design side, the technical side, the engineering side of it, uh, I mean, if you're already yeah. going through that, I'm, I'm sure in, in the BSc level, you you must you must be studying the uh, structure analysis sort of yeah module, yeah. So, yeah structure design module. So you need to judge yeah, yourself yeah. from there whether you are really keen to to actually go in the same sort of yeah format. I mean, going forward into the MSc. Uh, if I'm honest, I mean, I can give you my personal example. Actually, I was in the same board actually doing the uh, uh, actually BSc. And from there, yeah. actually, I, I got actually these structure analysis sort of, yeah, the, the modules from there, I said, yeah, I need to develop that, that sort of things. I need to go further in that. And that's that's where I've chosen actually structure engineering from there, from BSc level, uh, because I, mm. I knew actually I did really well in the B, uh, BSc level as well in structure sort of, yeah, uh, the mechanics and uh, yeah structure design sort of modules. I did really well there yeah. and I, sa I said, yeah, I need to progress basically on the same format. And that's where I've chosen structure engineering for my MSc. So it all depends actually, I mean, uh, whether uh, obviously you're going through those modules now, the, the BSc, whether you're really yeah. keen to go into the same modules or you want to change yourself to the management because uh, don't forget, I, actually the construction management is really, really sort of, yeah, Communication, you need to be really the top notch communication. You have to manage your subcontractor. I mean, that's that's what the role is generally is actually construction management. Mm. You have to have your subcontractor with you on site and you have to manage all of them basically. That's that's what the role is. Uh, so if yeah. th that's that's all your 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 communication, your leadership sort of skills there, yeah, comes in place. So if you you think, I mean, you can manage or you have those sort of skills, I mean, from now on, you want to brush up yeah, those skills, um, definitely, yeah, construction management should be your, your, your way actually to go forward. Uh, what, what I yeah. did here, brother, uh, I'll extract actually the modules. I mean, for you, you mentioned, yeah, the two sort of, yeah, university, University of Greenwich, 
DMSC restriction yeah. management. So module wise, yes, you can sir. straight away, I can see like, I mean, obviously it's construction management, they are all oriented towards management. So you will be studying, I mean, throughout your course about the management. And that's, that's yes, where I sir. said, I mean, you need to decide from now on actually, whether that is really something you wanna go in your future. Because I, what, what, I, what I don't want to waste your MSc, your money and everything. I mean, like you go through that, that course there and you, you don't like it, basically. You don't want to pursue that uh, because it's purely management. I mean, you have to mm -hmm. manage your subcontractor, your teams, your communication, and you, you have to be on site, basically. That's, that's what you would do in your future. Yeah. If that's, that's what your intention is, actually, in your future. Uh, then, yeah, MSc, looking at the modules that they are pretty standard, actually, management modules there. I mean, you will be you will be taught in, in masters. I can't see any. According to actually. your modules, sir. According to your modules, are very great, sir. According to you. Sorry, uh, uh, can, can you repeat your question? Uh, according to you, the modules uh, which are in University of Greenwich are my, uh, much more better sir, uh, uh, compared well, to other universities. Uh, to be honest, I mean, universities, uh, uh, there is a question, actually, you did ask, I mean, whether you want to go to the higher university or yeah, the low cost. So I, I will discuss that later on. But university doesn't yeah, yeah, matter yeah. at all, actually, brother. It, it doesn't matter what, what university you're going to. They are all yeah, really, yeah. really sort of good university wherever you go. Uh, all it yes, matters sir. is is actually this bit there, your modules, what you want no. to study. I mean, that is what, what it matters. So for, for management, of course, I mean, it's construction management, they're all oriented towards management. And uh, actually, yes. that's, that's where you're going to study. And end of the day, I mean, your job will be management. I mean, that's, that's if, yes, if, sir. if you see yourself in that sort of your future, um, I, I can't see any flaws in, in the modules here, basically. They, they are pretty much yeah, oriented towards management. I'm sure by end of the day, I mean, like once you get the degree, you'll be well, well versed in the management sort of sector there. Um, and yeah. then I, I got the extract actually for structure engineering from the University of um, East London. Um, yeah. that, that's, that's another one. And I can clearly see actually they are hugely apart. I mean, looking at the two sort of yeah, courses, uh, this is completely sort of yeah like the technical side the sort of engineering side i mean there's there's no correlation between the two looking at these mm -hmm. modules basically that they yeah, are yeah. hugely apart and in fact yes, i mean uh, in fact from my experience as well there's no correlation between like i mean there's really limited sort of skills you can transfer from management to the structure engineering in fact yeah structure engineering is really specialized field um, I, I, I would say that actually in my experience, I never seen anyone, I mean, doing structure engineering job without formal qualification. So all the structure engineers must have formal, like, I mean, the degree sort of course, I mean, the background, the theory, I mean, they, they are called structure engineers, but for management, yeah, yeah. for management, I've seen actually a people without actually any formal education, any formal degrees, I mean, at all, and they can get into the management there. So that is the difference, yes, actually. If you're going structural, that is really specialized. So you will be in that category, basically. You are really special and uh, it's, it's very limited, basically. Very limited structure engineers you, you, you would actually uh, come across, actually, that they're doing these structures. Uh, and I must say, it's, it's the toughest, actually. One of the tough uh, sort of subjects as yeah. well in engineering. Yeah. But it, again, it comes to the same point. Like, I mean, if you are keen, uh, I'm sure if I have done it, Masters and MSc, you can definitely do it. So uh, there's, there's uh, nothing there. You, you can't do it. It all depends of your interest. I mean, if you're interested to do in that sort of yeah, field, like a, a structure analysis, dynamics, and yeah, all the uh, sort of software use, uh, then, yeah, the, these are really good modules there. Actually, I can see they are all like um, structure-oriented, actually design-oriented, soil structure engineering, which is more geotechnical. And you go yes, to sir. design in steel, concrete, advanced structure analysis, which is softwares, and the structure dynamics there. So they are all uh, practical sort of, yeah, modules there. I can see, I mean, they, they, they are directly related to what we generally do in a in day-to-day basis, actually, in, in the jobs. So yes. 
uh, unfortunately, as uh, where I started, I mean, I can't say, I mean, go for structure or yeah, or, or otherwise go for management because I can't yes, judge you. you, you no, but university wise, according to university wise, University wise, um, I won't flow any of them. Like, I mean, even if if you if you see if you're going with uh, management, I would say, yeah, go with the, this course, University of Greenwich. If you you reckon you 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 are more towards your structure engineering, I would I would say, yeah, just choose this one. University doesn't yeah. matter at all. I mean, trust me. I mean, there, there will be no talking about university. I mean, when it comes to finding a job, I mean, you're going for the interview or you're going anywhere. No one is going yeah. to ask you where you, where you did actually your masters from. No one asking that question at all. Mm. So this is this yeah. is irrelevant. Actually, university is completely irrelevant. It's it's actually the you need to look at basically this this modules whether you you got interest in this modules if if that is yes, yes and then go with go with that actually it doesn't matter which what university they're offering so you you just go with that uh so mm. uh, uh, um brother unfortunately i can't I can't stress you go with management or structure obviously i'm personally yes, structure sir. but you can I, say both are in demand but you can say uh, both yes. are in demand yeah but i would say structural is more specific like i'm more sort of yeah targeted as, as i said i mean like yeah uh th there will be you, you won't see anyone doing structural engineering job and they had no degree basically in a sense so they must have qualified yeah sort of degree or some sort of yeah qualification before they got a job actually in structural engineering but for actually yes, management uh i'm sure yeah th there are lots of people you will come across they would they would um a hard, they, they, they would hardly have any sort of degree there they, they might have some certificates there uh and there will be yeah, construction yeah. managers there so that is the difference actually <clears throat> obviously i uh, being a structure engineer i do prefer structure engineering obviously i say i'm biased towards <laughs> structure engineering but yeah, uh, I, yeah. ca I can't stress you basically to definitely go with structure engineering if you reckon i mean you have the skills in management uh, you have that yeah, le yeah. leadership qualities so the, the, yeah that that is the best modules you you can get actually to for for, for your MSc. Yes, yeah so yeah yes sir. shall i move to question number two then yes sir, okay uh, question two what is chart uh, is chartered actually we call it chartered ship uh can i do construction yeah. management uh yes definitely the, the number of institutions actually i added the links here so in management yes, as well so you would have like the apm or pmi i mean these are the institution you can uh actually have your affiliation with uh, with them but actually you need a certain level of experience before you get that chartered ship chartered ship it, it, yes, in a sir. sense is actually you are like i mean you are recognized a qualified sort of yeah project manager i mean that's that's how you get the chartered ship i mean after certain so sort of after msc you can do directly the, the chartership uh, no you can't you no is it's it not it's, it's not a course what it is actually so you have to go through a rigorous sort of process so the first stage is your qualification your, your education background basically once you get the degree that that makes you eligible to go in a certain affiliation so for the apm or pmi they will require yes, some sort of your formal education you you certificate degrees so that make you eligible to go for chartered ship right so that's the first stage which you're going to do basically in msc once you you get the msc degree so you will be eligible to go affiliate yourself with these institution and then you have to go through your experience and get the knowledge basically what what the affiliation actually as a as a chartered uh, manager i mean what you need actually that, so you you click on the link i mean that, that that will take you actually what requires for a chartered ship so you have to go through those um, yes, experience sir. and there will be exam as well so after your yes, experience sir. there will be exam and then once you clear that that's that's how you get the chartered ship and it's yeah, really yes, really uh, how many years will it be will it take to become a charter right if if yeah. i if i say my personal experience is with the ic institution of civil engineers so uh, generally it takes three to four years minimum experience 
Uh, that's mm. that's where you be- yeah. you 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 become at that stage that you you can appear for for your exam. So at least three to four years experience that that would minimum you you would need before you you get up here actually to. Yeah. Go for. Uh, but yeah, it all like I mean, m- my personally, I was with the ICE, so that that's their process. Th- they might be slightly different for the APM, like uh, for the managers which I don't know, yeah, uh, yeah. but these links will provide you all the guidance, actually, if you're going for the project management. For the uh, yeah, uh, yeah. structure engineers as well, we have uh, a different institution, iStruct E, Institution of Structure Engineers. Uh, but mm. I, I must say, yeah, this is one of the toughest, actually, one of the tough uh, sort of affiliation you can get. It's really hard exam, I mean, they have. Uh, but obviously, yeah, I did yeah. my structure engineering, uh, MSc structure, but I actually went into the ICE. So I didn't yeah. I didn't go with the ISTRUC team uh, personally, uh, because it, re- it really needs actually the experience, quite rigorous experience, actually, in structure engineering. And to clear that exam, it needs really, really sort of a yeah, tough uh, sort of yeah, period there. So... Um, but, th- th- but there's there's no harm. I mean, you can transfer your skill between structure and civil. I mean, th- you you can clearly uh, transfer your skills between the two. That there's um, there's no such boundaries there. Um, although, yeah. I mean, if you're doing civil engineering, you will uh, maybe struggle with structure uh, in, in a bit. But it all depends. I mean, if you got a, a job basically in one field, like, I mean, personally, I did structural engineering, but I got a job in civil engineering. So it was quite easy for me actually to transfer my sort of what, what my knowledge had. So in civil engineering, mm-hmm. it was quite easy for me. Uh, that's one of your question was about actually um, uh, whether you can, yeah, the managers can go into the structure engineering and structure. That is really good question. I'm going to come that, yeah, to, to, to answer that question as well. Yeah. But, but there, yeah. there is, there is, yeah, like between civil and structural Actually, yeah, definitely. There is a clear, a sort of yeah, a clash there. So you can you can transfer easily between the two, uh, but mm-hmm. there there is actually a problem with with the management and structure engineering. I will discuss that yeah later on with, in in your question there. Uh, okay. So so I hope uh, this this is clear. You got any question about the uh, chartered ship? No, no, sir. It's clear. It's clear. Okay, thank you. So question three is MSc is good with placement year or without placement? Again, really good question, very common question from the students. Yeah. So I, 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 I put actually some some adding that I mean, like, yeah, some advantages, basically, or disadvantages, mm-hmm. you can say, like, without placement, uh, this is for MSc students. I mean, generally, the BSc is different scenario. So this is for, for yourself. So for MS theater. So, so without placement, so you can clearly complete your degree in short duration. In one year, you complete degree. Graduate visa, straightforward, post your degree. So you you complete one one year degree and then straight away you can you can get the, the two years PSW or graduate visa. It's straightforward process. And you are eligible to apply for your permanent job in one year, basically. Straight away, you can go into finding your permanent jobs, basically. Uh, that's that's yeah. what the advantage is, uh, and you you start your PR quickly as well. So once once you get your yeah. job, so you are on 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 the course for the PR as well. So these are a few advantages actually. I would say uh, for without placement. I mean, if you're going MSc without placement, and with uh, actually with placement. So employees are unwilling. Yeah, this is my personal experience, actually, uh, going with, with uh, yeah, actually talking to the students here as well. Uh, they mm-hmm. are un- unwilling to hire, actually, MSc students on placement. And the sole reason is uh, because... MSc is really a higher degree and the employer yes, do sir. expect actually that they are full-fledged sort of engineers. They don't need any placement, any internship. They should be going straight into the job rather than placement. Yes. That's where they are struggling actually to get the placement. That is my personal yes, experience. I mean, uh, yeah, talking to the students as well. So that is the main reason I would say, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good actually going with the placement. Uh, Wait, the, uh, yeah. Other 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 disadvantage I can see like additional cost. Obviously, you would have you have to pay for another year as well. I mean, for the placement year, 
and again yeah, yeah so. there will be double efforts as well double like work. i mean for you you would find the, yeah for the placement as well you have to strive for the placement exactly the same way as if you are going for a job basically you have to prepare your cv you have to go through the interview stage i mean that's this even even for the placement that's exactly the same what you would do for the job so yeah, rather than yeah. rather than straight to the job you you're doing that double actually within with, with the placement sort of your course um yeah, yeah. and the final i say can't get placement if you can't get a placement then you have to shorten your visa as well uh that is the rule actually so the university will shorten your mm. visa because you can't get a placement and then after that you have to apply for the graduate so again there is a hassle there as well you have to apply for the visa again they will shorten your visa the university will contact the uh actually immigration and i, I don't know the complications yeah. there but again yeah there is a hassle there as well uh with the, with yes, the placement sir. so these are the so few clearly so you are saying that without placement is a better option uh, i i definitely go without placement yeah that's right. uh there, there is uh, i've added a link here actually this is actually i made a video short video as well uh that cover exactly the same question um so you can yes. watch that as well that would give you a bit more inside but uh, definitely my uh, i'm towards that one um if you can get it without placement um that that is the best option for msc mm, yes yeah. is that clear yes sir so but uh, without placement company should hire us without they, they will think that we have no experience and all i will come so your question you 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 had the ah, question yes, you had the it. yeah yeah I, i will come to that question yeah um okay, yeah, okay. For, for the graduate yeah you you're asking the same question you already provided so i, I will provide you all your questions here and then if you go more question then yeah we can we can answer that So let's let's okay. start with question four. Um, shall I go with structural engineering with placement year or construction management green? Which university? University of East London. I think we already discussed pretty much that. When like I mean, uh, yeah. pr- project management is more oriented towards communication, leadership, problem solving skills. So all on site, basically dealing with the subcontractor. And structural yeah. engineering is technical software engineering techniques. So. Uh, which one you want to go um to be to be honest it's completely open question to yourself i mean like, rather yeah, than yeah. Uh, i i guide you like a go with structure or go with uh, management is you need to see yourself whether are you good at this these skills there um if you are good at that mm-hmm. then go with project if management. you were me sir. S- sorry if you were me if you were me which university would you do no it's not about university it's about the course oh hmm. I is, mean, of course. Yeah, if 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 if, I mean. if 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 I was you, um, I don't know your skills. If I'm honest, uh, if uh, obviously, ah. if, uh, and I don't know, like I mean, whether you are more oriented towards engineering, like I mean, the technical sort of side. As I said, I mean personally, yeah. I was more towards technical side. That's where I've chosen actually structural engineering. Um, so that, that that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 how i've chosen there that's that's where i i, I say you're the best judge of yourself actually you need to judge yourself yes sir. where you should go but um uh, as i said i mean like i'm biased toward structural engineering because uh, i know yeah, yes, structural engineering a lot more but uh, i can't stress you because uh, i know uh if you're not interested or you struggle with that sort of yeah like a structural analysis uh then it's no yes, point sir. actually dragging you there because it's it will be mostly the design stuff there and if you're not interested in that is no point i mean going there yeah yeah right so moving on to question okay. 5 um do students getting a job right after graduation because they don't have any experience uh then on which what basis they will be hire me okay so generally uh, we we call it graduate jobs in the uk which are yes. uh, targeted for the freshers basically in the uk sometimes they do advertise like i mean uh, like uh, one year or two years or sometimes they they completely ignore that one year or two years as well so they'll be fresher basically graduate jobs 
it's exactly the same procedure, whether you are experienced or you are graduate, you're fresher, you have to create your CV, actually create your CV and apply through the job portals. I mean, that is the procedure and you have to go through the interview process. So that is generally the process. So whether you are experienced or you are graduate, basically, that's that's how you go about it. Uh, obviously, from yeah. the graduate, uh, the employer do expect you the basic knowledge. So you have to yeah, have, like, sure. I mean, whether if, if you're going for structure engineering, for instance, I mean, you're doing MSc structure engineering and you're going for a graduate structure engineering job, you you should expect they will asking you about the, like, I mean, bending moment, shear forces, or the loading, the load yeah. transfer. So these are the basic knowledge, actually. You have to have those knowledge in the interview. Yeah, yeah. You need to transfer that. I mean, similarly, if you're going for, like, a management, uh, like construction management, you have to have those sort of, yeah, the health and safety sort of size sustainability. You have to have th those knowledges, basically, what the construction needs from yourself. The sir, but management is not taught so much in civil engineering sir. management is where, that was, they don't yeah yeah that much. i agree agree they, 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 there's very limited actually yeah in, in so uh, we have to prepare in my in masters only if i choose project management i have to prepare for the basics in masters because yes. right now i have no idea anything about management yeah I that, that is about true and share post loading everything all right not okay. about money management yeah, it's, it's more, well, uh, to be honest, I mean, I would say if you can talk a lot more, then you're good at management. That's simple as that. <laughs> Obviously, you have yeah. to have the more knowledge. Uh, like, I mean, here, mostly, I mean, you will come across, I mean, for management, the health and safety, I mean, that is the main sort of topic you will you will come across for in the management. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking yeah, yeah. from practical perspective, actually. If you're a manager, you will talk mostly about the management on side, actually, the health and safety on side. So, you have to have those knowledge actually the legislation uh, the, the law what the law say how to control their health and safety on site basically that's yeah, the way yeah. you to convey uh but yeah you you are right actually in the bsc level it's very limited i mean you, you but they, they talk about the management so you have to learn everything yeah basically in, in, in msc if you're going yeah into right. management that's true yeah uh, but uh, th th that's right like i mean in bsc you 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 do uh, talk about actually the design sort of side as well so you already have that basic knowledge about the structure engineering i mean if you're going that way uh but again yeah it, it looks like uh, you you're driving yourself towards structure now by the looks of it <laughs> yeah yeah right now that's that's good yeah um I, I i wish actually by end of this session you would have a clear mind at least yeah so where you should go um uh, so that, that that is the the, the main purpose of this session so um mm -hmm. let's let's go move on to the next question then question six do you think i have to be satisfied with these university or can i apply for top universities such as imperial college or top colleges that i think you accept them again yeah as i said brother university yeah. ranking doesn't matter ranking at all matter. yeah so employers do not ask about the university at all basically if you go for interview they won't ask you where you did your master's from what university you did master's from they, they won't be interested in that as well so you need to just yeah, show yeah, your yeah. skills i mean that's that's what they will be interested in rather than yeah the university uh, but one thing, yeah, ensure the course is accredited with the Engineering Council, uh, JBM, yeah, the Joint Bo uh, Board, Board and Moderator, yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. this is important uh, in a sense in the long term. So you need to yeah. choose a course, basically, they, they are affiliated with the ICE, ASTRUCT, or the other APM, basically, as long as they are. Yeah, so uh, you should choose that, that course. I mean, mainly, I mean, you should look for that. So one. you are saying you have to concentrate more on accreditation yes accreditation is very important in your long-term career because in long term you must try for the chartered ship we already discussed uh, uh, discussed about the chartered ship that should be your long-term yeah, yes. goal basically and if so you, what course, do you say about with you uh, university of east london uh, i think they have no accreditation sir. no uh, they sir. are they are jbm accredited I've, I've, I've checked you know, it. London. yeah yeah the, i've checked their yeah. website yeah so they are accredited with the, the jbm yeah 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 yes yeah. sir but greenwich is rich accredited sir while institute of something like that sir. charter surveyors yeah surveyors 
yeah yeah so uh yeah the uh, i did check actually the uh east london the day there is the, the, that is affiliated with jbm um yeah so that that is a long-term goal basically uh if you if your course is not accredited you will struggle to go for your chartership although i mean with experience ah. you can still go through to your chartership i mean but that that needs a lot more effort actually you will cross a lot more sort of yeah experience before you appear for your chartership uh, sort of exam so it's it's yeah. really it's really good actually when when you choose your course make sure they are G jbm sort of affiliated so you go straight into so what the do you say about brick sorry what do you say about brick that is uh, accredited uh, no that that is for the chartered surveys uh, actually if you're going yeah. for the quantity surveying sort of yeah so you you need to affiliate yourself with with the RICs. So management uh, is nothing concerned with RICs. Sir. No, no, that that is for the quantity surveyors actually. Uh, the the RICs. Mm. Uh, so for the for the management, uh, you you will associate yourself with the APM and PMI basically. So the the two institutions. So these the, the links are here. Uh, I, I don't yes. think, I mean, uh, they need uh, specifically, yeah, for, for, from the, co uh, as long, I mean, you do the construction management, I'm sure you can go straight into the APM and PMI. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't yeah. require you any, any sort of, yeah, from the. Any accreditation is not required. Sir. No, no, for, from the university, it doesn't require, no, it doesn't require you. I'm sure after MSc uh, in construction management, you can go straight into the PMI or APM, yeah, the, these institutions. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the for for the uh, for the structural IC, uh, there needs to be JBM accredited actually your course. Uh, otherwise, I mean, yes, you sir. have to go through additional sort of experience. Mm. Right. So yes, sir. So again, I said a module self interest in the course matters the most. Basically, you need to see basically what what the university offers. Uh, that should be of your interest. Uh, so just go with that rather than yeah looking at the university ranking okay right question seven can a construction manager change his job to structure engineering after some years and also vice versa yeah very very good question uh and uh, i said i mean th these are both completely different skill set uh we already yeah. talk about yeah basically what management is what uh, structure engineering is that there are some skills like i mean some skills are transferable like a management you have to i mean at certain point even as a structure engineer when you reach to a certain stage like i mean you become a team leader you have to manage actually your teams as well the graduate and under yourself so you you get that knowledge with the time communication is yes, vital sir. actually problem solving both i mean that their ties up with both skill both sort of yeah in management as well as structure engineering but I, I added the structure engineering is more specialist role dealing with the structure analysis, modeling, design, software, calculations. So not easy for construction management uh, to, to pick up these skills without formal theory behind. That's, yeah, that's what yeah. I said is very specialist. So you need to have that sort of degree, the theory behind to understand the structure engineering. That's, that's where I said, actually, I never came across in, in my sort of experience where I've, I've, I've seen a structure engineer without formal a degree. Basically, they must have gone through the theory behind, actually, and they, they become a structure engineer. Uh, but for, for managers, actually, I've seen managers without a degree or without any qualification formal, actually, so they, they become. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy, actually, for managers, uh, actually, the construction managers to go into the structure. Structure engineers can go into the management, though, uh, because management yes, comes, management do comes with the time itself, basically. At certain stage, you become managers anyway, because you, you, you get to the team leader stage or yeah the manager sort of level because you have to have sort of yeah your teams or your project actually and that's where your technician and your graduates you have to sort out those ones so you become a manager ultimately anyway even if you're whether you're a structure or civil engineer whatever like i mean personally uh, i started in civil engineering and now I become basically more manager actually the design manager or civil manager basically i'm managing the teams yeah so I had no intention yes. to go into management, but obviously you 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 get to a certain stage where you become ultimately become a manager. You have teams mm. and you be, that, to deliver the project, and that's that's where. So for structure or civil engineer, it's it's easy to go into the management, but uh, other uh, yeah, the vice versa is is not easy actually for managers to come into the structure engineering. That that is not yeah. easy. 
I hope that makes sense. Yes. Uh, right. Your next question was by seeing my marks, what you can say, will I be able to study structural engineering? Uh, I can't guess it from marks, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't know yes. how much how much did you get into structure uh, analysis or yeah, the uh, structure mechanics or soil mechanics or uh, I don't know. I mean, like uh, you, you can judge yourself from there, whether you have the the basic knowledge of that, yes, those sir. modules, but exactly, I mean, like structure mechanics. No, you sir, will... Here, study is something different. Also. Right. Okay. I mean, you you need to see what well, the, the the relevant. Actually, look at the uh, MSc modules. I mean, which are relevant. I mean, you're currently studying. I mean, uh, because the, the mm. like, I mean, and see, I mean, if if you already have the background of those ones, basically, um, then, yeah, then yeah. Uh, I would say, like, I mean, these are purely structure, yeah, design. Like, I mean. The, steel concrete yes, yeah there, there's and i, I must, I must I, I must say brother i mean these are pretty much directly oriented towards the job i mean if, if you clear these modules trust me yes, i mean sir. you're going straight into the job this is what you're going to uh, uh, apply actually straight into the job that they are pretty much yes, oriented sir. towards the the practical So that, that question eight is, is still a question mark. I mean, I, I will pass that back to yourself, actually. Judge yourself, actually. Mm. Uh, it's not easy oh, for sir. me. Uh, I, yes, I, wish, I wish I was a magician and I can give you the answers, but uh, I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm passing that back to yourself, that question. Okay. Uh, question nine, uh, have you seen international students with no experience doing MSc in project management and then getting directly job with no experience? I would say, um, well, I wrote it there for management. Actually, currently I'm going through lots of students. They are still studying, actually. Uh, they are still doing the uh, construction management sort of yes, uh, uh, master's course. Uh, but yeah. I, I haven't seen actually personally, I haven't seen anything uh, like getting into the graduate construction management role as such yet. So, uh, yeah, so I, I hardly any, anyone seeing actually get, getting into the management. However, yeah, I did add that I've, I've seen structure engineers actually grad, graduate, uh, which got their, their graduate jobs basically. So I've seen a couple of them, like, I mean, I personally actually spoken to them, I guided them basically. And yeah. they, uh, like a graduate without experience, so that they, they, they had the jobs actually. Um, obviously, as long as you have the, as I said, I mean, for graduate, uh, that there there are lots of jobs available. I mean, for graduates, I mean, as long as you have the basic knowledge, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, you you can you can get the job. Uh, uh, that that's all it needs actually for the graduate roles. Uh, so they don't expect you to be expert actually in your field. Uh, all they need yeah. is, is just the basic knowledge. Um, uh, that's that's all uh, your questions were. Um, so I hope I mean. Uh, uh, I made, I made justice to to the answers actually um i'm not sure this is what you were expecting or is there anything else you want me to to clarify yes sir, some two or three extra questions uh -huh. yeah sure yeah. yeah so in a bad scenario like covid can a construction management manager work from home no because i have worked they have to site they have to visit the site very yeah frequently. that's 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 correct for construction managers no they can't work from home uh because generally the construction managers as, as i said i mean they should be working on site they, they are relevant to site so obviously you can't control the site from home uh vice yeah. versa vice versa structure engineers can work from home uh, yes, and sir. generally like i mean Currently, like where, where I work, actually, we are working a full time from home. Actually, obviously, we we are the design sort of yeah side, so we work from home. Yes, we we got the structure engineers, we got the um, uh, civil engineers. We all working from home actually, so uh, that there's there's no requirement. So in that student, so in that scenario, uh, he may be an unemployed. No, it's, it's no, but COVID is is uh, literally gone. I should say uh, here actually we yeah. don't talk about COVID anymore. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's completely back to normal. I mean, obviously, I mean, if there yeah. comes basically in the future, you never know. Um, that there, there will be a struggle, definitely. Yeah, the 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 side sort of workers. I mean, they they did struggle. Yeah. 
but obviously, I mean, like I'm looking at the current sort of yeah scenario, like I mean, it's completely sort of yeah gone actually. So we gone, don't talk yeah. no normally about COVID now at all. I basically expect to normal. So then, um, how can you take a holiday for returning back to his country, like? in future while doing his job as a construction manager right so uh, basically the the way uh, actually the job works here uh, so you would have like uh, at least i mean when you start as as a graduate you would have uh, 20 to 25 sort of yeah holidays right throughout the year that that will be your yeah. annual that will be your annual leave actually when you join uh, any employer and uh, it's, it's actually you have to manage with your line manager actually so whoever your, your sort of yeah, team leader is and you need to tell them i mean this is my plan that and you the, the more advanced you give them basically the notice i mean this is when i'm planning to go back home uh the, the more it's yeah. easy uh, easy become easy for the for the manager actually to manage it he, he would plan it beforehand i mean you can't just i mean say like, I mean, uh, uh, tomorrow or next week, uh, I'm going for a month actually to India. So yeah, it won't work. It will, can... not, not even, even structure engineers, we, we can't do that way. We have to give, actually, we, we, we can, well, we, we have to give the notice. I mean, the, the, there is a notice period, basically. You need to at least give them yeah. advice so they can be prepared, uh, whatever you're doing. So in your absence, someone needs to cover that, that sort of, yeah, your, your work. I mean, that's, that's how you plan it. So for instance, I mean, if someone like, I mean, in our team as well, like we are all designers in our team, if someone going for a week, more than a week, we have to plan ahead. Actually, they need to give us enough, enough sort of, yeah, notice. Uh, at least have one yeah. month notice say that that the next month i'm going actually yeah in, in a month time i'm going so outside you're saying regardless of any field a month holiday is compulsory yes so uh there will be and will leave uh i think it's 20, between 22 to 24 i mean starting with that one with with your experience or with, with uh, the employer does improve that basically as well apart from uh, those and will leave uh, you would have the actually in the uk we have we call it bank holidays so there are eight yeah. fixed bank holidays as well so that are additional to the end will leave so that would be additional so you get at least yeah basically mm -hmm. throughout the year these are all paid actually if you're a permanent employee uh so these these are all paid actually the 22 annual leave the least and uh, the eight uh sort of bank holidays they are paid so you will get those uh, benefits yeah yeah anything else brother no no it's like a seesaw situation right now in my mind did you make up your mind or are you still confused i mean which one you're going for yeah i i need some time to, to think right okay mm -hmm. uh to to be honest i mean but just i was uh i was a little more lean towards structural engineering but uh seeing the university i am uh, a bit confused because they are more like uh, advertisement uh, type of university they are only doing advertisement no bro brother trust me the universities are really really good i mean it's it's not uh, yes. yeah all, all the universities. i have seen some reviews in core also that they won't uh, help so much like that in east london there i have seen in cora mm -hmm. right uh, but uh, to be honest i mean i never seen any negative sort of yeah like I mean, whoever did the like i mean master's course here i never seen any negative from the students themselves uh, and that's yes. that's where i generally obviously i have my personal experience as well like i mean i did my master's from salford university which was not ranked at all yes. basically uh, uh, that there's no it wasn't in the ranking at all so uh, to be honest i mean yes, i didn't sir. check the ranking at all uh, but obviously, I liked the modules and I went there uh, and I was quite satisfied actually by end of the day, uh, what, what I studied there. Uh, so, uh, but by seeing the courses of construction management, is, I think is a vast field sir, because I'm so much confused construction commercial management in many options, sir. international construction management, construction project management, construction management and economics. These months. Uh, I think uh, this field is a bit vast field, I think, so that's why some positive feeling is coming for construction project management. 
but talking to you i'm more lean towards structural engineering <laughs> that's that's where i started actually i'm uh, obviously personally i'm structural engineer so i'm more biased towards structure i yeah. can talk a lot more in structural engineering term uh but i don't yeah. want to drag you i mean if you're not interested uh, but that's that's where i said brother look at your current sort of status i mean like look at your current uh, design sort of capabilities i mean are you really interested to go into the design side i mean that's what structural engineering is all about i mean you you yeah, got to be yeah. dealing with the structure modeling structure design sort of softwares use i mean if that is if that is of your interest definitely is worth yeah, sure. uh, worth worth going in in that sort of direction and as i said i mean it's really really special it's so special it's sort of feel so uh, like so, I mean, one step ahead of construction management Oh yeah yeah I mean definitely that they are they're really specialist actually you you will be dealing with with quite sophisticated softwares I mean we we are using here so for the for the um, linear non linear sort of analysis the structure dynamics so that that is really really specialist uh, sort of your field uh, so you said uh, you haven't seen any graduation uh, graduate construction manage, manager manager well uh, as i said i mean like uh, since since i got in touch with with more, but it, more it students is useless like so, having ms in construction management does, no, it, does uh, he have uh, any no no opportunities are there i mean i, I can't yeah, say that uh, the, 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 the the like i mean management that there's no opportunity i don't say that uh, but yeah. what what what, oh, what okay. i said actually your question was whether you you seen a graduate uh, doing uh, did construction management they they got a job uh i said i mean currently whatever yeah. stu- actually whatever i came across so far they are still doing the msc stu- uh, they, they are msc students actually so they are not going to that stage actually to uh, find a job so i i i, I say i yes, haven't sir. seen as yet but but i'm sure yeah the jobs are there but as i said i mean construction management uh that has completely different skill set as as we discuss actually so you need to be more yeah uh, you need to talk a lot more i mean that's that's what the skill is the the, the more you talk the better manager talking person is suitable for the job yeah yeah it's suitable for someone who can talk uh, talk a lot actually uh so yeah that that, yeah. that that is more uh but as i said i mean like um, personally i love structural engineering uh but that that's the second and, and i'm sure yeah you, you you guessed that from from my sort of your responses as well uh yeah but, yeah yes, but but i don't what, what i don't want you brother that i want i don't want you drag it in that sort of direction as i said i mean it's, it's quite yes, specialist sir. specialist sort of field and you will be dealing with all the design and uh sort of yeah the dynamics basically the mechanics um so yes, if if you obviously if you're keen in that definitely it's worth going there but if you're not interested um like i mean you you are str- currently i mean you're doing a, a bsc there if you reckon i mean you're struggling yes. with those sort of yeah uh, already so it's not it's not worth actually going in a mess MSC, MSC, because as i said msc is quite sort of yeah the high level i mean you will be uh like not spoon feed it here i mean you will be given basically the assignments and actually the coursework just do it you have to do your research here i mean it's it's, it's quite tough actually I, i won't say it's it's easy doing msc here in the uk uh although yes. i mean there'll be lots of resources would be available actually there there'll be lots of uh like notes or books or libraries everything would be available to yourself yes. or to access but it's up to you how much yes, you sir. can get that knowledge actually so it's completely up to yourself so as long as you yes, understand sir. the basics that's that's how you can utilize those resources so that the main question yes, is sir. i mean you need to have that basic knowledge to utilize those resources yeah yes sir. right so do let me know mm-hmm. wh- where you you're going towards uh, but yeah I, i'll just yeah leave you with 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 an open sort of canvas actually um I give you the uh, basically what you're going to be doing in structure what you're going to be doing in management so just just assess yeah. yourself basically your skills your capabilities just think about the long term uh, obviously you have to stay in in long term in the in the same field it's not just about the msc i don't want you to do the msc and then just forget about basically um uh, and lose that that sort of yeah credibility there yeah um anything else brother do you want to discuss sir uh, last question sir uh-huh. well for students who are not getting job what are the 
trying to do any uh, alternate jobs who didn't get a job what are they do the opting for psc or the the uh, uh, when when you start your course uh so you will actually do the odd jobs along with your studies as well like i mean they're in in, in the warehouse or in the shops or yeah the, i mean that that's where generally i mean the the students start they they, they with the study and they do the part-time jobs so uh, when when they complete their their course generally they go basically in the, they, they remain in the same sort of jobs or jobs until they found yeah actually their their permanent job that that's the general rule actually but th there there are opportunities actually you can go full time in the old jobs as well along with when you when you search for the uh, for the for your professional job um i've, I've yeah, seen yeah. actually i've seen actually these the students they do actually a permanent job like i mean in the warehouse for the time being and they do search actually applying for the for the professional jobs as well that's that's how how you manage yeah. it actually and you get the two years uh, obviously i mean the uh, graduate visa as well that make you eligible actually yeah. to, to apply for that two years so i'm sure two years is is good enough actually to to find your professional jobs it would be really yeah. unfortunate even if you if you miss um, actually the two years i mean that's that's quite so, a lot. but the interviewer will see the grades also no sorry say that or, again uh, he'll see only skills while while seeking a job mm -hmm. while asking for a job the interview will uh, based on interview will uh, uh, recruit us or based on grades also grades grades do matter or not uh, i'm not the the grades like i mean i would say uh, uh, the grades do matter because generally i've seen now more often actually when when they advertise uh, the jobs they said two one or two two so actually that's that's how the the degrees are here actually um uh, they, they, they rated two one and two two so two two means uh i believe yeah two one is uh 60 plus sort of marks yeah when when you get 60 plus or two one and below is mm. two two and when you get 70 plus that that's called distinction so yeah. that's that's what it it does matter if you got the two one like i'm 60 plus that mean mostly i've seen actually the job uh, advertise a minimum requirement to one degree basically so uh, as long i mean you have the two one sixty plus marks that mean you are eligible for almost all the jobs i mean they, they are advertised so they do matter and i would say you should target you should target 70 plus i mean the, the reason i say that if you're going yes. uh, if you're getting 70 plus that mean because all the msc courses there are research based so if you're getting 70 plus that means you understood the whole sort of yeah your your, your course that means mm, yeah, you, you yes. are getting that you you got those basic knowledge already i mean 70 plus means you you understand your your subject very well actually that's that's what i generally say to the to the students actually make sure you get 70 plus distinction um and that should be your yes. target for your student that's that's where you you can you can guess even even the employer get guess guess as well actually you go 70 plus that they they say yeah you how did you get 70 plus obviously you understood your course yeah there you you have the basic knowledge so you should target yes, yeah it, it does matter yeah the uh the, the marks so you don't want to get yourself yeah like 60 below because generally as as i said i mean there, there will be a job at Utah's and that would require 2160 plus sort of yeah and um, you can't apply there mm, yeah. sir, i just want to confirm one thing sir mm -hmm. you said uh, uh, for construction management uh, i have no i am no need not needed to see any accreditation sir. there is no need for seeing any accreditation yes uh, said, mm, no need sir uh, accreditation generally they uh actually the, the university don't actually mention about uh like i mean you the, like association with the apm or pmi project management institution uh because they uh the, I, I briefly looked at actually the apm and it all depends on your experience i mean when you have a certain sort of experience in the management like four or five years experience so you you become eligible to go into the associate yourself with the pmi the project management institution so that's that's where i mean once you're done the msc course that means you are directly yeah basically associate yourself with the apm 
So MSc is, in management is good enough for, for you, sir. You have the basic knowledge, basically, there, and you can associate yeah. yourself with the uh, PMI, Project Management Institution, or the Association for Project Managers. So you can go directly. I mean, gen- I, 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 I hardly seen any university actually mentioning that they are associated with the APM and PMI. I think the generally yeah. it's, it's the engineering council. I mean, they generally relate themselves to the engineering yeah. side. Management it doesn't count. I mean, towards engineering, that's that's where generally I see. Uh, so they, they they relate the university relate themselves to engineering council uh, and the G, JBM actually that they are with the engineering council. Yeah, affiliate. Yes, sir. Okay. Any more question, brother? No, sir. I have completed my question. Okay, now it was. Um, I'm not sure how much uh, knowledge you 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 gain from from this uh, session, but uh, I hope. I mean, okay. I have justified. I mean, wh- whatever you you question. Yeah, yes, hundred uh, percent. Everything is clear. Clear. Yeah. Do, do do let me know i mean if you're still confused or any question you might have in the interim just just send me an email and i, I will yeah, respond yes, sure. I, I will respond back and uh, as i said i mean i will uh actually cover your face i, I will share this this video uh, with, yeah. with, uh, with the with yes, the audience sure. and uh because these are exactly the same question generally comes here yeah, from from similar students so i'm 99 sure, yeah. percent of students have ex- ex- exactly exactly it's the same question so i don't want to repeat yeah yes. again and again the same answer so i want to just pass on this yes. this video i yeah, watch this yes sir thank you brother uh have a lovely day and uh i hope i mean uh you you make a, a you really fine, good sir? I'm fasting. Yeah, it's it's actually uh, yes, three f- fifty nine. It's four o'clock. We still got another four and a half hours actually uh, for for the aftar. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, it's still uh, four and a half hours. Yeah, it is so, over, sir. I, I know. Have to go to Taravi. Uh, is it Taravi time now? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Five minutes. Okay, I'll I'll leave you for Taravi. So do pray for me as well, uh, brother. And yes. as I said. As I said, I mean, uh, um, any any question, just just uh, send me an email. Yes, yeah? sir. Sure, okay. sure, sure. Jazakallah, brother, and thank you very much. Nice to see you, yeah, and good luck with the yes. future. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Elias. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Hello, Walaikum Salam, sir. How are you? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. Um, I, I saw your email. You, I'm very well, Alhamdulillah. Brother, I saw, I saw your email about the... Actually, you don't want to be visible in, in the uh, video. Uh, that's absolutely um, yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, I got no issues with that. What, what I can do... Uh, obviously, I'm now recording the session. Uh, but what I can yeah, do, okay. I can cover your sort of face basically with another sort of photo or another logo. That's that's absolutely fine. But now yeah, in the okay. session, I, I would like to see you as well. It would be nice actually to see you you face to face. Okay, okay. Uh, okay but yeah, when when I upload to YouTube, uh, then in that case, yeah, I I will do actually. Okay. Uh, I'll cover your face, so yeah. it'll be only your voice. I mean that that would be uh, actually uh, terrible if if that's okay. Okay. Okay, okay, bye. What I have to call you, sir? Um, call me whatever you wish. JK, uh, yes. Jays, uh, Jahan Zeb. I Actually, my, my yeah, name is Jahan Zeb, but actually, yeah, pe aake jo, Hindi bol lete ho? Hindi? No? You, you uh, haan, Hindi, Hindi, Hindi. Hindi bol lete ho? Hyderabad, yeah. Malum. Haan, ah, Hyderabad, yeah, yeah, yeah. I India know. India ka Hyderabad, Malum, haan. To, aap Hyderabad se? Woi, nazik pe, ammar hai. मेरे से ज्यादा आती होगी क्योंकि मैं बिल्कुल नहीं बोल सकता काफी प्रॉब्लम होती है मुझे उर्दू बोलने में क्योंकि प्रैक्टिस नहीं है 
uh, like a, um, basically my my mother language is not even Urdu, so we we, we Pashtun, speak Pesh, Pashto, yeah, we speak Pashto, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. a different. Uh -huh. uh, so Urdu me dikhat hoti hai, to isli me video shuru me me banata tha Urdu me, like in both the problem hoti thi. <laughs> then I said no, I I. Yeah, we don't talk about Pakistan, so yeah, we Hindi thoda barabar nahi bolte, we don't talk about. So baad me pata chala ki Pashto area se. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that that's that's why I started. Actually, it's more comfortable for me to speak in English uh, yeah. rather than in Urdu. Uh, but yeah, brother. Okay. Yeah. So before I I share and actually start on your questionnaire, um, just just give me a bit of your introduction. Uh, actually, where you were done and what's the plan actually coming here to the UK when when you are planning to come. So uh, my name is Mohammad Dilia Sam. Uh, right now I'm in my seventh semester. Seventh semester is my is completed. Now I'm in eighth semester, and my CGPA is my seven point seven. Sir, you're studying civil engineering, is it? Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Civil engineering. So you're coming straight actually uh, from uh, civil engineering uh, uh, from uh, BSc to masters, with, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. All no, right, okay. No any job or nothing. Else. Okay, no, that's that's good. No, to know. but technically, I'm not a civil engineer right now. After mm -hmm. three months, I'll be called a civil engineer. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I, have, I haven't completed. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, so so you're planning to come for September session? Is that correct? Ah, September intake. Yes. Sir. Okay, no, good, good to know that actually uh, was was that uh, that was the case for myself personally as well. I, I, obviously, I mean that was long time ago. I did uh, BSc and straight yeah. away actually I did the, the similar. Uh, 